Hey there, a bird friggin' fam. Here we are, Remington 700 Crazy Bull Barrel Resurrection Part 2 coming at you. Today is just going to be a preliminary teardown and assessment, kind of work on our uh, plan of action, priorities of work. So, priorities of work first is going to be assessing what we got. And then I went ahead and did a little scribble on the whiteboard. You may or may not be able to read it, but we're going to do a mag full hunter with the floor plate that allows us the removable box magazine, Picatinny scope rail, going to go with a, probably a zero MOA on this one, receiver cleanup, bolt cleanup, looking like we're going to do an injector because as you remember from the first video, they removed the injector so they weren't kicking their brass out. Then after we get everything all cleaned up, the stock here, ejector done, and get her back to a solid functioning state. We'll do a mock-up, we'll do a quick test fire, probably with some uh, lightweight hand loads just to get some rounds down range, assess function, and then from there we'll decide on coating and get ready to send her out. But today's quick little video, bolt is open, so of course we know we're safe, we're clear. Let's go ahead and get her out of this poor burned up chassis. So they didn't use a rear receiver screw, so we only got one to deal with. Go ahead and get this out of here. Oh no! Yes. Oh yes. Boom! Just like that. Charcoal Charlie is out of here. Just another thing. If you guys come up with a name for this rifle or what we might be able to name this build, go ahead and throw it in the comments, and uh, we'll see which one's the best, and we'll go from there. And of course, the phone rings now. Okay, and we're back. I'm probably going to leave the phone ringing in there. A uh, customer from the AR pistol resurrection video was calling to set up the appointment to pick up his resurrected AR pistol. So let's get back to Crispy Charlie or Charcoal Charlie. Um, don't forget, go ahead and let's get a name for this. Let's uh, go ahead, since that bench rest stock wouldn't let us get to the bolt release, now that we can get to it, we can go ahead and get the bolt out. And since we're not going to be using the blind magazine, Go ahead and get that off of the receiver. All right. When we're done dropping stuff, uh, no outtakes here. They stay in. You screw it up, you screw it up. All right, we got that out of there. Let's get a quick look see at this receiver. She's uh she's a bit gunked up, a bit oily. Not a uh, not a lot of rust in the receiver. But uh, that's going to be in the bore. Now let's get a closer look at this crazy bench rest clamp on style front sight, huh? Isn't that something? So uh, let's go ahead and let's get that off of there as well. That should probably be either this one. Yeah, it's that one. And not that one. That screw is not even tight. All right. Woo! Not worried about reusing that bench rest front sight. So let's just get it off of there. And let's go ahead and now that we got her loosened up a little bit. Let's loosen her up a little bit more. There we go. Because that's a clamp on sight, all I'm doing is I'm actually spreading the spreading the open part so that it loosens up its grip on the end of the barrel. So we can go ahead and get that off of there. Viola. Um, even underneath that uh, that crazy sight, it's still looking good. So everything is everything. Got a got a pretty good ding in the barrel right here. We'll have to see if we can draw that out when we get to that part. But uh, let's go ahead and get a quick look at the bolt. Bolt doesn't look too bad. Good old Remington 700 long action bolt, 30 cal. Little uh, little grody. 
on the bolt face because it was in a fire. Evidently, water did get down the barrel. Got a little rust. Oh, hey, got a little rust on the bolt face. But part two, just a little preliminary look over. Uh, trigger seems to be in good shape. Go ahead and pop those pins out. And uh, we'll start prepping the receiver in the next episode. But that episode, we're going to go after the actual bore itself and um, get it ready to send rounds down range. So everybody stay safe. Yeah, this is probably going to be boring. No, I'm not a professional actor. But let's just do it as if we're DIYing it. Everybody stay safe. And we'll see you again next time.